So you have found a nice library or project or whatever that you want to test and run on your Raspberry Pi and this is on GitHub. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily download any code from GitHub and that even without a GitHub account. First of all, you will need, of course, to find a GitHub repository to download. Okay, for this example, I'm going to use the RPI EEPROM, okay, from the official Raspberry Pi GitHub. So you have your URL here if you want to follow the tutorial with me. So, well, you have the code here, the readme, etc., etc. You have different branches. So you may have different branches. The main one is going to be the master. And then you have here a button with code and with the HTTPS, so the URL we are going to want to get so that we can download this on the Raspberry Pi. So you're going to open a terminal. And first thing first, we need to install Git. So sudo apt install Git, because Git may not be installed on your Raspberry Pi. Here it's already here. Why is that? Because I have installed it before myself. So after this, you will have Git ready to be used on your computer. And so we are in our home directory here, pwd, yes. So let's create a new folder, mkdir, uh, let's put tests. Okay, and let's go to tests. And I'm going to put this repository inside this test folder. So now how to download the GitHub repository in my Raspberry Pi. I am going to do git clone okay we are going to create a clone of the repository on the raspberry pi and then so git clone and then i need to give key so we go back to code https and we're going to copy this so you can click here or you can just copy it and as you can see this is going to be the same thing as the so the same url here but with a dot git at the end so once you have copied it you go back to the terminal you paste with control shift and V. Okay, and you can just press enter. So cloning into RPI EEPROM is gonna download everything. So you just wait a bit. So it's gonna depend on, well, some packages, uh, some repository are very small like this one. Some are gonna be very big, okay? And now LS, so RPI EEPROM, if I do LS here, you can see this is the exact same thing we have, okay? The firmware, image, test folder, everything. So we have the repository right here. And so now, well, you can do whatever you want. You can uh, check the code. You can uh, maybe also install stuff if you have some installation configuration, etc., etc. And now, well, if you remember, I showed you that you have different branches. So you have the master. So those are different versions of the code. Okay. If you go to Debian bullseye for example this one you're gonna see that here well this branch is 257 commits so at the time i'm recording ahead of master okay so the master code and the uh, debian bullseye code and the debian buster code are gonna be different so let's go back well, let's do clear and let's do git branch git branch is gonna tell you that you are currently in the master branch how to go to other branches. You do git check out and then tab tab to get everything. So, well, you have different tag versions and stuff, but you can see we have the master and then we have the two branches we want here. So you can do Debian slash, let's say Buster, if we want to go to Buster. Okay, and now we are in the branch Buster. So if we do git branch, we are in Debian Buster and the code is going to be different. The code is going to be the code of the version here okay, with different commits, with different code. And that's how you can navigate between branch. And to go back to master, click checkout, master. And you are in branch master. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Raspberry Pi step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.